Well, a busy day and an even busier weekend at the state capitol as the 2020 legislative session is about to come to an end. Carla Holt joins us live with some of the big issues that are still on the table. Carla? Yeah, Julie, they have a couple days and change to make billion dollar decisions regarding the bonding bill and COVID-19 relief funding. And besides all that, the Mall of America is asking for help. Perhaps as a symbolic sign of the state of our state economy, the Mall of America is asking leaders for help. They're asking the legislature to change the law to provide a different use for the funds than what the law currently allows. House Majority Leader Ryan Winkler says basically the mega mall is asking to borrow from a taxpayer fund intended for future projects to ride out the COVID-19 storm now. And while the MOA is sending out its SOS, state leaders are also trying to work out how to spend federal relief funding. So far, the state has received 1.8 billion federal dollars, 660 million of which can go to local governments. The governor wants to keep control over the money, he says, to allow for efficiency. But Republican leaders are pushing back. My proposal is that we have legislative oversight over most of it. The, the legislative body is supposed to be the bodies that do uh, appropriations. Then there's state worker contracts. Democrats want to ratify already negotiated deals. Republicans are saying it's time to reconsider slight pay raises. And looming behind all of these issues, the governor's proposed $2 billion bonding bill. We're going to need this once we come back. These water treatment plants and streets and bridges still need to be done. The interest rates are low and they also create jobs. So I think there's a pretty strong agreement around that. Now all of this work and more must be done by 1159 on Sunday night. But again, leaders are saying that they're working together to make sure it does get done. Randy. All right. Thank you, Carla.